Class ten, we have started with this chapter Bholi. Now in this chapter, till now we have read about a girl whose name name was Bholi, but her actual name was Sulekha. Her as her actual name was Sulekha, but her name was not completely compatible with the looks that she possessed because she was a simpleton child. Simpleton means that her brain was not developed properly. She was the ignored child of the family. Even her parents they were ignoring her. uh her father whose name was ramlal he was village number that even he was not he was worried of course of the marriage of that girl okay because she was the fourth daughter of the family and all the three daughters they were quite good looking healthy there was complete utensil facility of um, eating and drinking in the family and sh- this young girl she has suffered a head injury during her childhood because of this reason that one part of her brain was not completely developed as the part of her brain was not completely developed so it is just because of this reason that she stammered she was not able to speak until she was at the age of 5 years but when she start start speaking she was stammering and this was the reason that everyone was making fun of her okay so she had she also suffered from smallpox in her childhood and it is just because of this reason she developed a pox marks on her face so if these are the main things that we have read about this young girl till now okay so we have read that we have also read that she was now uh, she is now going to uh, going to school why she is going to school because the sildar visited the village and she was present at the opening ceremony of uh, of the primary village school and he told namardar that he had his civic responsibility also and for that reason he has to send his girl or send his girls to school so in order to set an example for other people of the village and for that reason he was he did not have any you can say guts to move against the suggestion the so he discussed it with his wife that how to send their girls to school but her wife she was totally against it she thought that has he gone mad to send girls to school because it was the time uh, of the, it was a time um, in which you can say girl education was not considered so such a good thing and were, people were against girls education so she thought that it was not it was not wise to send their children send their girls to school because if their girls would be sent to school then they are not likely to find a match for their you can say for their daughters so they thought they have come out with a you can say uh, with an option that bholi can be sent to school why bholi because otherwise they did not have any hope that she is going to get married because her face was pox marked she was not at all beautiful and they thought that otherwise she won't get married and there is no harm of sending to school but what was bholi's reaction to that was she ready to go to school and if yes why she is ready and if not why she is not so this is our next you can say reading part that we are going to read here so here goes the chapter the last line i'm going to read the next day ramlal caught bholi by the hand and said come with me i'll take you to school so ramlal he took her by the hand and said come with me i'll take you to school bholi was frightened naturally the girl who has not gone out of her house any time how could she be able to go so she was frightened to go there she did not know what the school was like she did not know what a place the school is she was frightened to go there and why why she should go to school school again a new place for her she was not at all ready to go there she thought what the school was like which place it is naturally her mind was also you can say filled with questions what a school is how could she go to school why she is sent why she is going to be sent to school she remembered how a few days ago their old cow lakshmi had been turned out of the house and so so she had just one feeling that whenever a thing or whenever any you can say any person or any animal is taken out of the house it is never coming back so she remembered that day that their cow lakshmi it was also taken out of the house 
it was turned out of the house and sold and has never come back she again was thinking she was relating this you can say selling of the cow with herself that maybe she should be sold or she should be thrown out of the house and she would never be able to return back and for this reason she was really feeling very sad no 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 she shouted in terror and pulled her hand away from her father's grip she said no she took her hand away from her father's grip she said to school no father no not at all i am not going to school now father who was not at all you can say uh, loving towards her daughter see the indifference that the parents are showing towards their daughter to other children they were quite loving affectionate but to holy they thought that with the loss of her looks she has lost her you can say emotional you can say uh, uh, she has lost her emotionality no the heart is still there the heart is still have filled with you can say same kind of feeling he shouted what's the matter with you you fool means he was not at all ready to make that young girl understand that why she is going to send this he shouted what's the matter with you why are you saying like that i am only talking you i am only taking you to school then he told his wife let her wear some decent clothes today or else what will the teachers and other school girls think of us when they see her it means that in the house this girl is not given proper dress to wear she is wearing in the old clothes not you can say properly maintained now his father said let her wear today uh, ramla he told his wife let this girl wear proper clothes today because if teacher and other girls will see her in the school in these kind of clothes what they will think of her new clothes had never been made for holi see the difference in the family it means that whether a child is a normal one or an abnormal one don't discriminate with the child so she was never wearing new clothes see the old dresses of her sisters were passed on to her and no one cared to mend or wash her clothes see the difference created in the family what she was wearing she was wearing handed me down clothes okay of her sisters those old clothes and those were you can say shortened ones and those were you can say the old ones they were further passed on to bully to wear and no one even cared for cleaning mending if something if some you can say needed to be done no one is doing no one is paying attention this is the kind of behavior that holi is facing in her daily life and not even wash clothes she was wearing but today she was lucky to receive a clean dress which had shrunk after many washings and no longer fitted champa so today what she is but today she is going to wear a clean dress okay why clean dress because to go to school and now today what kind of clothes she is going to wear is that that this clothes or this dress it was not fitting champa and now you can say bholi she has got a chance to wear this kind of dress she was even bathed and oil was rubbed into her dry and matted hair matted me forming curls not you can say straight ones and entangled ones okay so and it is for the first time that she was bathed she was made to bath and ultimately oil was also rubbed into her dry hair because nobody was taking care to provide oiling to her hair also only then did she begin to believe that she was being taken to a place better than her home so when all this all these things happened to her and at this moment she came to know yes i think that i'm going to a better place than home because if she is going to school even the family members they are taking care of her otherwise nobody is caring to take care of her when they reached the school the children were already in their classroom so when they reached there what happened the children were already in their classroom ramlal handed over his dress to the headmistress so ramlal handed over his daughter to the headmistress so when they reached the school the children they have already come they were in their classroom they were bit late Ramlal handed over his daughter. Ramlal took the daughter and told the headmistress, "Left alone, the poor girl looked out, looked about her with fear-laden eyes. Fear-laden eyes means eyes filled with fear. She was all alone. For the first 
time that this young girl Bodhi, she has gone out of the house, and now today when she is all alone with her mother, her mistress, see what kind of fear that grabbed her, what kind of feelings filled her heart. She felt she was filled with fear. She was looking around at what kind of behavior or what kind of you can say people she could find there. So this is the reason she her eyes. They were completely filled with fear and she was looking around that what is going to happen to her. There were several rooms and in each room girls like her squatted on mats. Squatted on me, they were sitting on mats. Okay, squatted. You know squat, you know what is this position? Squats, you know, means by crossing their legs they were sitting there. Okay, so there were several rooms and in each room there were no benches of course because it is a primitive type of school in which the children, in which the children they are made to sit on floors and with the you can say mats. So they were squatting, uh, girls like her squatted on mats, they were reading from books or writing on slates. So you know at the time people used to write down, children they used to write down on slates which can be washed and ultimately it has to be you can say painted again before use on the next day with you can say with you can say special type of you can say mud okay right and ultimately the headmistress asked Bholi to sit down in a corner in one of the classrooms so headmistress she told Bholi go and sit there in one of the classrooms in the corner so everything was quite new for her and she was not ready to adjust at that place. Bholi did not know what exactly a school was like and what happened there. She has never been to school. She did not know that what actually a school is and she has gone there. But she was glad to find so many girls almost of her own age present there. But when she saw number of girls of her own age there, she was happy. She hoped that one of these girls might become her friend. So she was finding friends. She did not have any friend around her house also. She thought to be, to be friendly with any of the girls. The lady teacher who was in the class was saying something to the girls. But Bholi could understand nothing. As it was her first day, the teacher was giving instructions like do this thing, write this thing on your slate or read this chapter, but she was not understanding anything on that day because it was the first day. So you will see her journey. You will see how this young girl, Bholi, she has emerged from, you can say, from nothingness to greatness. So she looked at the pictures on the wall. The colors attracted her. The colors attracted her. Horse was brown, just like the horse on which the Tehsildar had come to visit their village. The goat was black like the goat of their neighbor. And the parrot was green like the parrot she had seen in the mango orchard. Orchard means that is uh, the place where number of fruit trees they are grown. And the cow, it was just like their Lakshmi. And suddenly Bully noticed that the teacher was standing by her side and smiling at her. Means this is the great role played by the teacher. You will see it is just because of the, you can say, affectionate understanding behavior of the teacher that she understood what actually life is, what reality is, how she should behave in different kind of situations. So, when she looked around the class, there were a number of pictures on the wall. She was fascinated to see those pictures because they were far, far near to that of reality. They were, of course, very much near to that of reality. She saw that the horse was exactly like that that the Sildar used to sit upon. There were parrots. She has seen in the orchards. She has also seen that the cow was exactly similar to their cow, Lakshmi. So she related the life in the school as that of her own. She thought that, yes, this is the life exactly that she is going to enjoy. And by the time she was engrossed in all her thoughts, what she found, she found that the teacher was standing near her and she was smiling at her. What's your name, little one? Teacher, in a very affectionate manner, asked her name. Bo, 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 bo. Means she was not able to speak her complete name and she, has, she was stammering in speaking this one word, Bholi. 
okay she could stammer no further than that means she was not able to speak further than that it was just out of her fear it was just her fear that was not making her to speak like that so then she began to cry and tears flowed from her eyes in a helpless flood naturally first time she had an encounter with the stranger and this was but obvious that she would cry as she was not able to speak her name properly the tears flowed down rolled down her eyes like a flood she kept her head down as she sat in her corner not daring to look up at the girls who she knew were still laughing at her so she was not also daring to look at the girls okay who were staring at her because they were laughing at her that teacher has asked her name only and what and she started crying so she was sitting in that corner she was not daring to look at look at the girls around okay and she knew that those girls were still laughing at her when the school bell rang all the girls scurried out of the classroom means scurried out means hurriedly moved out of the classroom but bholi did not leave her corner her head still lowered and she kept on sobbing means there was no one in the school you must have remembered your first day or your you can say young days when you were in your nursery or kindergarten time that how you people were behaving when you when you were com- completely you can say new to the to the school so how you were behaving you must also be having the same kind of feeling while sitting in a corner you must be crying not even a friend to look around and you were afraid of the teacher just remember at one you can say just for remember just for two minutes that that time when you have entered the school in nursery class slowly and gradually you got experiences of the school you were acquainted with that atmosphere of the school and you acquainted with the daily routine of the school also and then you will be you were able to come out of that you can say fear and then you have developed friendship with number of children and then ultimately finally now reaching to your class then you are ultimately the ruler of your own world okay so well, let us see whether bholi will also be the ruler of her own world or not okay so all the girls when the bell rang they immediately ran out of the classroom but bholi she was not daring to she was not she even did not dare to stand up from her place she was still sitting in that corner okay without any movement her head still lowered and she was sobbing sobbing she was crying with intermittent you can say breaths bholi the teacher's voice was so soft and soothing at that time in the school who is there to take care of her nobody it's only her teacher who is going to present some soft corner for her and that for that purpose she was of course there the teacher's voice was really soft and soothing she looked at her in all her life she had never been called like that it really touched her heart so throughout her life nobody had talked to her in such a mild and you can say benevolent voice she really felt touched with that and ultimately she felt that yes this is the person who is going to be affectionate towards me get up said the teacher it was not a command but just a friendly suggestion bholi got up you know the way you speak it ultimately delivers your emotions and this is what has happened with bholi also when she came to know that it was not a commanding voice like stand up no there are so many ways to speak this a single word ha uh, yes from this you can say context i came uh, i remember one you can say chapter uh, it was in previous you can say 10th class labors there was uh, an actor he was actually an amateur actor means acting was now was his you can say it was his passion but professional actor he was not so suddenly one that bipin babu he was given a small dialect to speak only single word o oh, means the film was short and ultimately one of his friend has come up with the suggestion that you are the exact character who is required to act in this film you have just a very small role that the hero is coming from that side and you have to uh, go from the other side ultimately you had a head down collision means your head will collide with the hero and you have to speak just one word o 
can you know this single one word o what kind of you can say charm what kind of you can say emotion and what kind of you can say various you can say inflections as well as you can say various kind of you can say expressions are to be introduced in that single word o that actor who was an amateur he tried a number of ways he rehearsed in various ways that what kind of feelings he would present in this o you can say o is of number of types a single expression some sometimes we get we get we are feeling disgusted we say oh then sometimes we were we are in pain we said oh so number of things are there and what kind of expression he has to present there he was practicing so there his there i am talking to this point that when this young girl was asked by teacher get up she immediately understood the feelings she immediately understood the you know the expression that was enclosed in those two words get up she understood that it was not a commanding one but actually what it was it was of course a loving as well as filled with affection so she immediately stood at that point now tell me your name now teacher is trying to uh, trying to be friendly with that young girl so that she can adjust to this kind of atmosphere now the teacher said now tell me what is your name sweat broke out over the whole body the whole body he filled with sweat because nobody had talked to her in this you can say loving nature with her would her stammering tongue again discourage her again she would speak in that stammering voice for the sake of this kind women however she decided to make an effort she had such a soothing voice she would not laugh at her so she thought that now she was trying to speak that she should not stammer she was thinking that she is just the kind lady that she would not laugh at me ba ba bo bo she again stammered she was again not able to speak her name well done well done the teacher encouraged her come on now the full name now the teacher was again very loving she said don't worry don't worry speak out your complete name and she was encouraging her you know with of encouragement to this kind of child would be quite helpful now bo 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 means she was trying to speak and finally she has come out with that complete word that is bodhi at last she was able to say it and felt relieved as if it was a great achievement she felt relieved that finally i am able to speak my complete name well done the teacher patted her affectionately she you can say patted at her back love yes she said yes very good very good that you have spoken your name and said put the fear out of your heart and you will be able to speak like anyone else so this is the first lesson that the teacher has given to her the teacher said don't worry just remove fear out of her you can say mind and you can speak like anybody else you will be as free as anybody there is no need to be afraid bolly looked up as if to ask really she looked up with the questioning eye as if she wanted to ask is that so is this the reality that will happen yes yes it will be very easy you just come to school every day and will you come now he said yes yes it will be very easy you just come to school and ultimately you will come to know will you come now the teacher because during that time this was again a, again you can say a requirement that the girls they must be they must come to school bholi nodded yes i will no say it aloud now the teachers you know they want to listen everything by word yeah yes yes and bholi herself was astonished that she had been able to see it and she said yes it means what she needed was she needed a bit of encouragement that was of course absent on her part okay so she needed that encouragement don't tell you didn't i tell you now take this book she said haven't i told you to take this book the book was full of nice pictures you know the primer books the book which uh, of the starting stage they are quite colorful in order to attract the attention of the child the pictures were in color of dog cat goat horse parrot tiger and a cow just like lakshmi and with every picture was a word 
in big black letters and something in black letters was written and those black letters without any knowledge they are just you can say those black letters you come to know the meaning and the you can say the words only when you read them when you get knowledge right so in one month you will be able to read this book and she said don't worry in just one month you will be able to read this book then i will give you a bigger book and after reading it i will give you another big book then a still bigger one it means that the teacher is trying to push her towards uh, you can say learning she is trying to encourage her and in time you will be more learned than anyone else in the village and then no one will ever be able to stop at you and people will listen to you with respect and you will be able to speak without the slightest stammer understand now go home and come back early tomorrow morning now the teacher is telling her the importance of knowledge importance of education that with this education you will learn more you will still get more chances to learn and finally you will learn you will think bigger you will be a better girl and you will also not be able to learn. now the teacher asked her whether she will be able to come in the next day because she wanted assurance from her and this is what kind of assurance she needed from that girl bholi and till here we have to read today and tomorrow after you can say sunday we will continue further so that's all for today now if you have doubts you can ask me